The Wolf of Wall Street is based on the real-life Wall Street broker Jordan Belfort, but is the real Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street? And the ex-convict has a hidden role in the film. The 2013 movie follows Jordan, Leonardo DiCaprio, who becomes greedier with every deal he makes, working his way up from selling penny stocks to working-class citizens to scamming multimillionaires. However, the story is just as much about Jordan's pleasure-seeking habits as it is about his criminal business. Nevertheless, when the FBI inevitably gets involved, Jordan's Wall Street empire comes tumbling down. Jordan Belfort loses his family and is incarcerated, even if the jail he's sent to resembles a country club. The Wolf of Wall Street won several awards and has become one of director Martin Scorsese and DiCaprio's best collaborations, perfectly blending drama and comedy. However, the release received backlash for Wolf of Wall Street's glorification of Belfort's bad behavior. The character is cool and charming and leads a life that many would look up to. Nevertheless, the real-life Belfort appears in The Wolf of Wall Street, but he's almost impossible to spot. Jordan Belfort introduces Leonardo DiCaprio in the final scene. He gives the movie version of himself a hyperbolic intro. The Wolf of Wall Street has many cameos, and the movie's subject has a cameo too. Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street is subtle, as he appears in the last scene after Jordan has been released from prison. When Jordan is released, instead of going back into sales, he gives seminars and teaches people how to be like him. Before the Jordan Belfort character repeats to the audience the iconic line of the movie, sell me this pen. The ex-convict can be found at the beginning of the scene enthusiastically introducing the Jordan Belfort onto the stage. In the scene, Jordan looks ropey after jail and has been humbled, but that can't be said for the actual Belfort, who introduces the movie version of himself. When introducing the character, Belfort speaks into a microphone, my friend Jordan Belfort is the single, most baddest mother of asterisk 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 I have ever met. It's easy to see how so many people fell for Belfort's scams, as he's likable and confident, but there's something off-putting about Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street. Belfort gives himself all these affirmations after what audiences just watched, but that could have been Scorsese's very intention. Jordan Belfort never actually met Scorsese until the end of the shoot. Scorsese didn't direct that scene of the movie. Jordan with a $100 bill in The Wolf of Wall Street. Interestingly, according to Belfort, he never met the director until the end of the shoot, via THR. It isn't clear whether Belfort means he didn't meet Martin Scorsese until he filmed his cameo or after the entire principal production had wrapped. Though it sounds strange that a director would be absent for filming scenes, Belfort scene in The Wolf of Wall Street is small and filmed from far away. The scene with Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street didn't require Scorsese, and it's something that a second unit director could have very easily shot. Jordan Belfort actually sued the film studio. He wanted $300 million after Red Granite was embezzling money. Kyle Chandler and Leonardo DiCaprio in the arrest scene in The Wolf of Wall Street. Despite selling the movie rights to a production company and despite having a cameo, Jordan Belfort has had problems to the point where he tried to sue Red Granite, the company that bought the movie rights, via The Guardian. Belfort was attempting to sue the company for a huge $300 million, claiming that the company was linked to a multi-million dollar embezzlement plot. Belfort's lawyer explained. 